Episode 1, Dimensional Mystery. Archie and Jughead are walking through the woods. Investigating a strange noise. Archie. Did you hear that? Jughead. Hear what? Archie. That weird noise. It sounded like a portal. Jughead. Laughs. A portal? What are you talking about? Archie. I'm serious. Listen. They stop and listen for a moment. Suddenly, they see a glowing portal in the distance. Archie. See. I told you. Jughead. Whoa. That's wild. They cautiously approach the portal. Archie. Should we go through it? Jughead. I don't know, man. It could be dangerous. Archie but think of the adventure. We could discover a whole new world. Jughead. Size, fine. But if we die, I'm blaming you. They step through the portal and disappear into the unknown. Fade out. The gang is transported to a high-tech laboratory filled with bizarre gadgets and strange machines. They look around in amazement, completely bewildered by their surroundings. Suddenly, a loud burp echoes through the lab, and a disheveled old man appears in a haze of green smoke. It's Rick Sanchez, a brilliant but eccentric scientist. Rick. Morty. What the hell did you do? I told you to calibrate the portal correctly. Morty. I, I, I tried. Rick, I swear. Rick looks at the Riverdale gang and belches again. Rick. Oh, great. More visitors. Who the hell are you guys? Archie. We're from Riverdale. We found a portal in the woods and ended up here. Rick. HMPH. Well, lucky for you. You stumbled upon the greatest scientific mind in the multiverse. I'm Rick Sanchez, and this is my grandson Morty. Jughead. What's a multiverse? Rick. Ha. You guys really are from backwater Earth. Aren't you? The multiverse is a vast expanse of infinite universes, each with its own set of physical laws and realities. And with this portal gun, I can explore them all. Betty, portal gun? Rick. Yeah, portal gun. You know, the device that allows me to travel between dimensions? Geez, I thought I was dealing with some smart kids here. Veronica rolls her eyes and speaks up. Veronica. So, what exactly are we doing here? Rick. What are you doing here? You're in the greatest scientific laboratory in the multiverse, and you're asking me what you're doing here? Ha! You guys crack me up. How about I take you on a tour and show you what we can do with that portal of yours? Archie. Sure, that sounds great. Rick. All right, let's go. Morty. You stay here and try not to screw anything up. Morty. Ah. Jeez, Rick. Don't leave me with the portal gun again. The gang follows Rick through a door labeled, Interdimensional Travel. The scene opens with the Riverdale gang standing in Rick's lab. Looking around in awe as they take in the strange and futuristic surroundings. Rick standing in front of a large portal, starts to explain the portal's ability to transport them to different dimensions. Rick. All right, listen up. This portal can take us anywhere in the multiverse. You guys ready for a little adventure? Archie. You bet. Veronica. I don't know, this seems dangerous. Rick. Relax, it's just a little interdimensional travel. What could go wrong? Morty. Famous last words, Grandpa. Rick rolls his eyes and punches in a few coordinates on a control panel. 
The portal starts to hum and glow, and before they know it, the gang is being sucked in and transported to another dimension. As they emerge from the other side of the portal, the gang looks around in amazement at the strange and surreal world they find themselves in. Archie. Wow. This place is wild. Veronica. I have a feeling we're not in Riverdale anymore. Betty. Where exactly are we? Rick. Welcome to Dimension C-137, folks. Let the dimensional tourism begin. Fade out. The gang follows Rick into a dimly lit room filled with strange artifacts from different dimensions. Rick points out a life-size statue of a tentacled creature with multiple eyes and a display case containing a glowing rock. Veronica. Whoa, what's that? Rick, this is a petrified Cthulhu statue. And that over there is a rare crystal of Ixthoria. I collected these on my travels across the multiverse. Jughead. So, how do you find all these things? Rick, I use a variety of gadgets and gizmos to locate them. It's all about being resourceful and keeping your eyes open. As they continue to wander through the museum, they come across a live alien creature in a cage. The creature looks up at them with large, curious eyes. Archie, is that an alien? How did you catch it? Rick, it's a long story. But let's just say it involved a lot of lasers and some quick thinking. As they leave the museum, the gang can't help but feel a sense of awe at the incredible things they have seen. But they also can't shake the feeling that there's much more to explore in the multiverse. Archie. So, where are we off to next? Rick, I have a few ideas. Let's head back to the lab and see what catches our interest. The gang follows Rick back through the portal, eager for their next adventure. The gang is transported to a new dimension where everything is made of candy. They are amazed by the colorful landscape filled with lollipop trees and gummy bear mountains. They are greeted by friendly gingerbread people who offer them candy houses to stay in. Archie. Wow. This place is sweet. Veronica. Literally. I could get used to living in a world made of candy. Jughead. I just want to eat everything. Betty. Jughead. Don't be greedy. We need to be careful not to disturb the balance of this dimension. Morty. I can't believe we're actually here. Rick always talks about the candy dimension. Rick, it's one of my favorites. Hey, Archie, wanna try a candy cane sword? Archie, absolutely. As they explore the dimension, they encounter various candy creatures, including gummy worms and chocolate cows. They also find a candy river where they swim and have fun. The group enjoys their time in the candy dimension, but they know there are more dimensions to explore. They accidentally end up in a dimension ruled by a fascist dictator. The gang steps through the portal, eager to explore a new dimension. They find themselves in a beautiful paradise world, with clear blue waters and lush green trees. But their excitement is short-lived when they discover that the inhabitants are being ruled by a ruthless dictator. Jughead. This place looks like heaven on earth. Archie. Yeah. It's amazing. Rick, be careful, boys. Looks can be deceiving. As they make their way through the city, they see soldiers with weapons patrolling the streets and people living in fear. Suddenly, a group of rebels appears out of nowhere, led by a fierce warrior princess. Warrior princess, you must be the outsiders. I'm Xena, and we need your help to defeat the tyrant. Rick. We're just here for a quick tour. We can't get involved. Xena, you can't just leave us here to suffer. Please, help us. Morty, Rick, maybe we should help them. It's the right thing to do. Rick reluctantly agrees, and they set off to plan their attack on the dictator's palace. As they sneak through the city, they encounter dangerous obstacles and unexpected twists. They eventually reach the palace, where a fierce battle ensues. With Rick's gadgets and Morty's quick thinking, 
They managed to defeat the dictator and free the people. Xena. Thank you. Outsiders. You have saved our world. Despite the victory, the gang is left with a sense of unease. They wonder how many other dimensions are suffering under oppressive regimes and if they have a responsibility to help. Archie. That was intense. I didn't think we'd be fighting a war today. Jughead. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go on any more tours if it means getting involved in battles like this. Rick. Well, that's the risk you take when you travel to other dimensions. But don't worry, we'll find something more fun to do next time. The gang is hiding in a dark alley. Catching their breath and checking to make sure they're all still alive. Betty looks around, worried. Betty, what do we do now? How do we get out of here? Rick pulls out a small device from his pocket and examines it. Rick, don't worry, I've got this. I can hack into the security system and create a diversion. Morty looks around nervously. Morty? Um, Rick, do you think it's safe to mess with their security system? What if we get caught? Rick smirks. Rick, kid, when have I ever played it safe? Besides, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Rick starts working on the device. And soon the group hears alarms blaring in the distance. A group of soldiers run past their alley, heading in the opposite direction. Veronica looks relieved. Veronica. Looks like your plan worked. Rick. Let's get out of here while we still can. The group quickly makes their way to the portal, which Rick activates with a few button presses. They all jump through the portal just as the soldiers turn the corner. As they're transported back to Rick's lab, everyone lets out a sigh of relief. Jughead. Well, that was an adventure. Archie. I can't believe we made it out alive. Betty turns to Rick, still with questions on her mind. Betty. Rick, what was that place? Who was that dictator? Rick. Just another dimension, Betty. And as for the dictator, let's just say he's not my biggest fan. The group exchanges a look, realizing that there's still so much they don't know about Rick's past. Rick. But that's a story for another time. Right now, let's just be glad we made it out in one piece. The group nods in agreement as they look at the portal, wondering where it will take them next. Int. Rick's lab The gang returns to Rick's lab. Exhausted and shaken from their experience in the previous dimension. Rick seems nonchalant as usual, as he tinkers with his gadgets. Veronica. That was insane. Who knew there were dimensions like that out there? Betty. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to go to any more dimensions ruled by fascist dictators. Archie. I just want to know more about that portal. How did you make it, Rick? Rick. Well, let's just say it involved some interdimensional engineering that I can't exactly share with just anyone. Jughead. So, what's the deal with those dimensions we visited? Are they real? Or just some kind of simulation? Rick, they're as real as you and me. And trust me, there are many more out there just waiting to be explored. Morty. Hey, Rick. Can we show them the butter robot? Rick. Sure, why not? As Rick shows off yet another bizarre gadget, the gang is left with more questions than answers. What is Rick's true agenda? And how much more is out there waiting to be discovered? Archie. So, what's next for us, Rick? Rick, next? Well, how about we explore a dimension where everyone's heads are shaped like cubes? Or maybe one where time moves backwards? The possibilities are endless, my friends. Betty, I don't know if we're ready for that, Rick. Maybe we should just take a break for now and process everything that's happened. Veronica, yeah, I think Betty's right. Let's just take a breather for a bit. Rick, suit yourselves. But when you're ready to jump back into the action, you know where to find me. The gang nods in agreement as they head out of Rick's lab, unsure of what adventures await them in the future. Archie. Well, that was definitely something. What do you guys think? Jughead. I think we're in for one wild ride, my friend. Betty. 
I just hope we're ready for it. Veronica. Oh, I'm ready. Bring on the interdimensional tourism. Fade out.